Give me a quick, but like, three snaps if you can hear me. The snake waits. The snake oh, perfect. Okay, lovely. All the while. Oh, wait. Hi, I am a developer. My name is Dr. Magulia, chief crab scientist. I don't quite remember how the full game works, so bear with me if I, like, a little clumsy here. Um, but I just want to come in to say hi and thank you. And to teach maybe everyone a little bit about crab biology. Does that sound good? A little bit of a crab biology lesson? Woo! Okay. So I'm going to hang out here for a second. I will actually be joined by our chief crab attack. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can turn off this horrible uh, apple pie man. Um, I'm pretty sure we have the ability to do that. Yeah, right? Applause. Death to apple pie Bundy. Wow, that was some really good gargling I just did, Pinocchio. Now tell me. Were you a good boy? I was the best boy, okay. Uncle. It should turn off Are pretty soon. Are you sure you were a good boy, <laughs> Thank Pinocchio? Thank you for bearing with me. I um, was the best. All right, I love my you, friend Pinocchio. will be joining me in just a moment. And One I second. Love this audience. We'll be Wave good night, very, everybody. very soon. Good night. This garden puts me right up there with the... Okay, lovely. Well, good. Let's, um... Oh! Hello, Kravitech, is that you? Uh, we can't hear you if no you're speaking. No one ever taught me how to gargle, and I'm Are gargling you this wonderfully. Oh, not quite. Maybe, maybe you have to go back to the dressing room and change your microphone. Hi, we're, we are the developers. We don't know how to play our game. <laughs> We can have the actors who are very, very good at that. Everybody um, say hey, my friend, just gonna because a that's what our next guest next eats, guest for, eats breakfast. for breakfast. But no, they're not a horse. Okay, at least, lovely. not Thank on the outside. With me. Um, Put your hooves together really good, like, for this time gift like of a this, guest, not, but, uh, and feel free to look tonight? at their mouth. Woo! Woo! Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Doing a little bit of vamping here. Um, welcome. And, oh jeez, where are they? <laughs> Alright, um, somebody show me some magic while we're here. Show me, like, show me what you can do. You know, this is like the final boss of the Under Presents. You gotta sh really style on me. Ooh, 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 Rose, very nice. Alright, can I, can I even beat that? Whoa! <laughs> giant Dolphin, Giant Gerald. Oh my god, look at that spin. That's so beautiful. Do y'all see that? Very cool. Oh, so neat. Um. Alright. Oh. I'm just gonna and. Cool. Okay, lovely. Alright, we have we have a clock over here. Oh, are you a union member? Are you a union member? Uh, is that a no? Like, give me a nod or a shake. Worker power, everyone. Am I right? Am I right? Workers of the world unite. Am I right? Democracy in the workplace. Fair working conditions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you sweep that. Big props to the sweepers union. Everybody deserves a union. Uh, don't tell my boss I said that. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. We're going to get started. I think my friend's going to join me, but I'm just going to go up to the arch so we can look at some crafts together. Um, that's going to be the focus of this demonstration today, is going to be crabs. I'm going to walk up here because I haven't really mastered the teleporting. So one of the things that's really cool about the actors is that... Oh, Ames, yes, hello, hello, hello. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, bless. Bless. Cool, cool. Okay, um, well let's go up here. So how about... We can go up to the arch, we can each introduce ourselves. God, I'm so bad at this game. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, Wait, man. Wait, can I give what you a hug? He... Yeah, no, totally. We have not seen each other in person in quite a while. Uh, good to see you, man. I miss getting lunch with you. Yeah, yeah, me too. There's a really good Thai place next to the office that we used to go to a lot. I miss it dearly. It's like a vegan Thai place. Mm. Um, well, how about we introduce ourselves and teach these fine people a little bit about craps? Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, did you freeze? Hello? 
no. Okay, am I back? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry about that. Again, we don't know how to play this game. We're not very good at it. Or I should speak for myself. Um, You're okay. Like, I even designed the wheels and I don't remember how to use them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at us, Scrubs. The, Afri the actors are the real professionals. I mean, literally. Uh, they play this game professionally. Um... Cool. So how about you introduce yourself, I can introduce myself, and we can get talking about The Under Presents. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Ames. Um, I was a game designer and artist on this project. I also worked on Tempest. Um, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Give it up for Ames. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. And hi, my name is Dr. Labulio. I am a gameplay programmer um, and chief crab scientist uh, at Tender Claws. And I work a little bit on this game. I came in like maybe like the last four or five months. I help sort of, I'm not quite the crab's mother, I'm more like their stepmother. Um, sort of help them get over the edge and taught them how to love, which you'll learn a little bit more about. And uh, yeah, it's, it's super cool. It aims is super cool. Our team is super cool. The actors are real cool. Um, okay. Should we start talking about crabs? Sure. Cool? Okay, well first things first. I think I've been pronouncing the name of these creatures wrong. Now, yeah, why crabs. is that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the story. Why are these creatures that are clearly, you know, four-legged crustaceans or eight-legged crustaceans, uh, why are they called crabs? Well, they were once crabs. I made, like, a first iteration of them, like, back in 2018. And then we had to do a redesign of it. And I, instead of, like, replacing the art prefab, I was just like, I'm going to name them all crabs. Um, and then everyone, everyone just decided to call them that. Almost. Almost everybody. <laughs> I am still a little sore about the whole thing. Because when I'm searching, you know, like, okay, let's try to find the asset, the script. I have to do the crab search and the crab search. So I give him a little bit of flack about that. Really, it's fine. And I think it's added a lot of personality. Hello. Um, but yeah, that's the crab story. Um, should we talk a little bit about uh, love? Sure. I think cool. you know more Nothing. about it. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, perfect. So we just made some of them kiss. So let's talk a little bit about how they kiss. Ooh, look at that. One of them was quite interested in the kiss, and uh, one of them wasn't quite so much. Oh, look at that. They actually um, all have names. They do, yes. Can somebody get me a light? Don't put the crabs in it, just like a little bit of illumination. Perfect. Now, um, you here with a lovely flower in the hat, show everybody the symbol underneath the crab. Or the crab, I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, this is Sylvia. Uh, Sylvia has a little leaf. Um, let's get a different crab. Or crab, Jesus. Uh, or darn. This is, this is a family friendly game. Darn. <laughs> Let's get a different one. Let's get some light on this fellow over here. Ooh, the heart. Clearly oh, that's, that's Shannon. Jenny. What? Oh, no, no, no. Jenny has the um, a martini glass. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, uh, Shannon is actually... We had six crab names, and then we needed a seventh one, and, you know, we pulled the office. And our coworker Cynthia, was like, well... People keep on calling our coworker Sharon, Shannon by accident, so let's just be really mean and um, add Shannon the crowd. Cool. Um, well, anyway, oh, this is Olive. Hello, Olive. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what these different names mean. So when you kiss two crabs, you know, the different crabs feel differently about each other, right? Uh, you know, 
there are many functions that kissing serves, right? You could kiss your mother. You could kiss, you know, a friend, just like, I love you, dude. You could kiss a significant other. You know, kissing is sort of this robust human concept, which means a lot more than just romantic love. And, you know, these crabs are all thinking, feeling creatures. They have quite a lot of, um, you know, different feelings towards each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're sweet. So, yeah, depending on the nature of the relationship between two given crabs, oh, um, if you want to pet the crabs gently, just focus on kind of like the back. If your fingers are too close to the eyes, then they'll, you know, get poked. Um, Poke its eyes wait. out. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, great. Oh, I remember well, let's... we almost we almost didn't get crab kissing in, but it was just like something that you and I worked on. Oh yeah. Mm. No, there was never any Trello card for like, you know, our boss game was never like, Dr. Labulio, make these crabs kiss on my desk Monday morning. Um, we just one day we're like, oh, I, I, I don't have quite enough tasks to fill out the day. Should we make them kiss? And Ames was a wonderful partner in crime. Um, cool. So let's, let's experiment with some relationships. Can we get two crabs? Somebody make a light. And we're going to do this Halo's crab and the um, uh, Whitehead crab. So, let's, so before they kiss, let's look a little bit. Okay, so the hearts, that is Shannon. And the book, uh, who else could it be? This is Donna. Um, let's see how Shannon and Donna feel about each other. So let's, let's make them kiss. Oh. oh so this is Donna Shannon. over here. <laughs> yeah, so Donna, you know, she runs the book club. Oh my god, there's like a chair that's going everywhere. Okay. Oh, because one of the crabs has it. So Donna runs the book club. Donna is very anal retentive, and she has a hard time opening up. And when she kisses almost anybody, she's going to go and do that reaction where she just jumps down. So if you make those two kiss again, you'll notice that Donna's going to leap out of your hand. She isn't having that. <laughs> Poor Donna. You're going to open yourself up to love, or you're just going to be alone forever. Um, let's get two more. I'm going to have the little fancy hat and the little rose crown. Each of you, please pick up a crab. And, um, oh, 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 do you have a crab? Uh, let's get that crab over, over there. So, so steal the little thing from it, the little, um, pawn. Cool. And now let's grab that crab. Okay, perfect. Can we get a light, please? And we're going to look at the crab identities again. So, who is this? Show it to the class. Ooh, okay, Olive. And who is this over here? Okay, Sylvia, lovely. So actually, this is going to be a very similar reaction. If you make them kiss, you'll notice that Olive... She doesn't get along with pretty much anyone. Um, if you have those two kiss, watch that fire there. <laughs> yeah, Olive is a bit of a uh, pariah. She's just kind of a bit of a jerk to people, you know? She has some trouble connecting. And, um, yeah, you know, nobody really, besides Jenny, nobody besides Jenny has a great relationship with her, because uh, Jenny's cool with everyone. Can we please get Jenny over here? Jenny with a martini glass? Okay, perfect. Jenny is a very openly loving crab. Jenny gets along with everybody, is willing to do the whole kissy thing. So earlier we saw a kiss where both of them jumped down. Let's have Jenny kiss, um, what's this halo crab over here? Oh, Shannon, perfect. Let, let's make Jenny and Shannon kiss. Oh, look at that. See that? There's a, there's a little, uh rose petal and stuff. Uh, Jenny and Shannon, you know, Jenny's gonna kiss, and that's gonna be a romantic kiss, because that's just how Jenny does with about everybody. Jenny, there is no other crab that you can have her kiss that she won't just be like, oh, oh, hello there. Hi there. Um, okay, let's get a platonic kiss to sort of round out the kisses. So, uh, who, no, who do you I have over here? I weird they thought it was that all the crabs have like these tramp stamps on them and there's like no reasoning in the game at all it's just like our <laughs> internal joy <laughs> yeah i mean i'll say early on you know i was reading the discord uh, by the way if you see somebody there named underfan123 they are more than they seem <laughs> i just learn i don't post um but yeah you know, the sort of week that the crabs came out, we were looking at the player reaction. We've been working so much on this crab uh, kissing thing, and everyone was like, what puzzles can I solve with that? Which, I will say, like, I don't know, 
When you kiss your crush or when you kiss your mother, are you like, what puzzles will this unlock? No, that's, that's just not the function of kissing. Love is love. Love is important in its own right. And if I'm not trying to lecture anyone, just, you know, open yourself up a little bit. I did put in some, you're going to hate me for this, but like I did Uh-oh. put in some crab recipes where it's like with <laughs> other players. So I think one of them, wait, let me pull out my spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, cool. uh, you what can we... make a pillow doing crab and then another player snaps and clockwise. Cool. So somebody get a flame open, and we're gonna put one of the crabs in, which I'm just pretty messed up about. Um, Ames walking through it. Oh, okay. You put a crab in, and then another player has to snap into the mask, and then you do clockwise. It's a mollusk. Oh, hey oh. buddy. Oh, perfect. Can somebody make this mollusk bigger? Look at you. Real pro oh with that. <laughs> hey, let's try something. Let's see if we can make this mollusk move around. Um, let's give the mollusk to one of the crabs. Uh, so, let's put the crab down. Let's put the mollusk down. And now everybody sort of walk away. So that crab is angry at you right now. That crab is like, each crab has sort of a player. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. That's, that's going to be just like the little snail is running around. Look at that. Look at that. I hate it. It looks like a turd. <laughs> did you model that? I mean, I think I that's did. kind of Mo- your work. Like swirls. swirls are so hard to model sometimes. Uh, I think it's so cool. I think it's so pretty. And look at that. It's like a little snail. Uh, we made a good game. You did a good job. <laughs> you did a great job. You brought them to life. Oh. Oh. You, you gave them. Oh, I mean, those I kissing hug? animations are all aims. Hmm? I'm hugging you. Oh, my oh God. yes, Girl, no. Stop feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yikes. Well, cool. Um, any other crab lore that questions that people have? Raise your hand if you have a question, and then speak it into your microphone. Wait, but how will Just they... kidding, I can't hear that. <laughs> no, actually, your microphone, they go straight to the NSA. Uh, so, if you've been up to no good, maybe expect a, I don't know, email, letter, uh, drone strike. Actually, Dr. Be careful Leo, I think a lot of them are on the Discord if we wanted to... Oh, oh I'm back. A lot of them are on the Discord, I think, if we wanted to talk to them. Oh, okay. Um, great. Alright, let, let, let's get yeah, some crab... Yeah, I'm a little crab... scared, though. Yeah, okay, crab lore question. Uh, I will, uh, caveat this with most of the crab lore is, like, can't come out to fan fiction. Um, but let's do, uh, I don't know, uh, actor hyphen experiences or whatever. Um, and, or theory crafting, I don't know. One of those, just put put in your crab question, and let's see. So, I don't know everything, but you know, crab development things, crab personalities. You know, maybe like, what's the relationship between two of them? What do they do for fun? Um, how is the given crab feature implemented? Any kind of crab behavior? I recognize some of these like in-game names. Oh yeah? Yeah, I feel like I've seen Alex Styles on the Discord. Oh, okay, uh, Krampus asks, Wait, well, why do you all wanna the say hi through my headset? All these fine people. Hello, fine people. That's friend. <laughs> cool. Alright. A question of, um, why do all the big ones have capes? Um, so originally, that avatar was kind of, like, made to be, like, the King Crab. I think it was, like, Revenge of the King Crab was, like, the sort of billing for it. But then the actors, because they're cool, and again, way better at this game than we are, they kind of built up this whole pantheon of crabs using that same model, so they have the crab. Um, 
in universe, you know, these little crabs, they do all of like the eating and munching and stuff, and then there's this whole awful monarchy that's really just keeping them down. Uh, you know, Olive's really into it. Hazel, not so much. You know, don't don't talk to her about revolution because she'll get it going. Um, but yeah, anyway, you know, we have these humble worker crabs and then their um, royal oppressors. Uh, next question. Where did they put the questions? Uh, actor hyphen experiences. If you don't have crab questions, that is fine. Um, it's something that I'm very interested in. But, uh, you know, crab lore. I know that there's a lot of more interesting lore in this game, like the Sweepers Union. Oh, are you a Sweeper Union person? Yeah? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Can I get a workers' rights in the house? Can I get a workers of the world <laughs> unite in the house? Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, fair day's pay for a fair day of work. Oh, look at that. Yes, make the crabs kiss for, um, <laughs> for Ugh, oh, so good. I love it. Okay. Oh, that's um, one of the first things I modeled at the studio. Oh, what is this? This little flower pot? It's, yeah, this house plan. Oh, it looks I think really it good. Had really um, powerful pivots for a really, really long time. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Are there any recipes that the uh, house plant is involved in? Um, I don't think I ever added it to that. Actually, because okay, I, sure, I don't, for sure. I think it has over 300 verts, so it wouldn't batch if I put it in a spell. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeez. I have a question. Who is the monger, mother of Big Chungus? Which I unfortunately don't know the answer to. I actually don't know who that is. Um, Wait, what is? But yeah, what's Big Chungus? Oh, look at that. Okay, actually, here's an interesting bit of under trivia. Do you all know that, like, objects aren't really that synchronized between players? Like, let's take an example of, um, could you please take that broom and then somebody take that beach ball, right? Over there? Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is toss up the beach ball in the air and then have the broom person hit it. Oh, it seemed like you missed. All right, again. Toss it up. <laughs> Come on, y'all. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Toss it up and hit it. One more time. <laughs> okay, I think there's a little bit of lag. So it was a bat person. Believe. Go like a little bit earlier than you think it should be. And then you toss it up. Oh, you grabbed it again. All right. So what we needed to do is is, to, is hit it and then let it come to its natural resting place. Forgive me. This is a more difficult prompt than I thought it would be. They're doing um, a good job. You're doing a good job, yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Now everyone walk away from the ball. Now everyone, okay, without touching the ball, point to where you think it is. Like walk over it and like put your hand over it. Like where the beach ball is. Oh, oh interesting. Okay, so for you, the, the beach ball is over there, is that correct? Oh my god, okay, cool. So, here's how networking in this game works. This is like big lore. This is fourth wall breaking. Um, basically, object positions aren't synchronized like over time or anything. There's like specific events where an object will be synchronized. So when you grab something, let's say I grab this crab here. It sends a message to all of the other like Oculus headsets or whatever headset that you have that's like, Hey, you know, like incoming events, this player grabbed a crab and that grab location was at this place. While I'm grabbing, the position is constantly updated. But once I throw it, goodbye. Uh, once I throw it, it's all just up to your local physics calculation. So what happened with the beach ball thing was, you know, somebody threw it up, it was hit, and then for most people, they had roughly the same physics calculations, right? But physics can always be different because there's like local differences, there's like frame rate differences, and so what that means is that when an object is thrown and then potentially collide with a bunch of stuff, it will slowly accumulate desynchronization uh, until, um, you know, somebody grabs it again, at which point the position becomes resynchronized. 
that's, that's a big reason why, you know, things like hitting balls and stuff, things like, you know, that baseball thing that we tried to do for so long is quite difficult is because, you know, once you throw the object, it's in God's hands. And, you know, whoever has it, has it. Um, yeah, anyway, um, do, I have a question. Did the devs talk about this? Oh, I, I think that's just a more general question. Uh, oh, um, why don't the yeah, crabs in the mud room? desert... Second? Oh, sorry, I was talking to Will. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no sweat. So there's a question, why don't the crabs, ha- crabs in the mud desert have symbols? And the answer to that, there's no sort of deep lore. Those are just anonymous crabs. They are not in the under. Um, you know, the crabs that live and work here, they are all, you know, they came in through the migration. They're all assigned to sort of cover this territory. They all have very distinctive identities. Those crabs are still sort of in the process of being formed. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, it's very much like we as people, right? When we come into this world, we're simply a screaming baby, a screaming lump without much of a, you know, personality or flavor or anything. But as our experiences accumulate, we slowly become the unique and interesting people that we are. Um, so, I also, love that question. I, I think that they do have the, like, stamps on them, but they're all just on, like, some mud material. So they... They have them, it's just uh, their material <laughs> makes it so that you can't see it. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D- different material out there. Um, well, cool. Ames, should we maybe j- jump into a-, a different room coming up? Sure. Can we hug everyone? Thank you all so much for yeah. supporting this game. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, this I'll is let nice. you in on a secret. We didn't think it was gonna like. We didn't think anyone was gonna play this game, <laughs> uh, or at least I didn't. We were like, it's so weird. It's like a time boat and a multiplayer thing. We're not really playing games, but look at y'all. Um, so that's really cool. And welcome, and thank you for making this space what it is. It really has been as much about what the players have made it into and all the lore as it is what we put together. So um, we're, we are in your service. Yeah, thank cool, you man. for playing. Thank you. Cool. All right, should we pop Bye. in somewhere else? Bye. Mm-hmm. How, how, how do I leave? Oh, I'm not going to grandma with these controls.